Hey what's up I'm back again with another useful video in this video I'm going to show you how you can properly add foreign key constraint all right so first thing I have our existing application I just want to focus on adding a foreign key so I have this vendors or store you can call it shops and I have some data previously some data but I realized that I need to add a honor ID I need to add honor to this vendor or shop so honor will be the users inside the user table so i need to add this column here so i don't want to uh, edit this existing migration file i just want to create new so that existing data won't affect get affected so you might want to uh, just add on existing table or create new migration whatever you prefer so in this case i will create a new migration so that existing data won't um, get removed so and steps will be same for both of the case whether you edit or create new migration so let's create a new migration PSP artisan make uh, migration I already typed it what is that yeah this is the command so PSP artisan make migration and then name make the name descriptive what are you adding so I'm adding honor ID to vendors table and then specify give this flag dash dash table equals to vendors so whatever the table name is so this will create a new file add honor ID to vendor let's open up that file add honor ID there we go and here let's add table so in Laravel add 8 we can do like this foreign ID honor ID and then constraint constraint to which table users table so if you do user id user id then you don't need to specify this table laravel will automatically know but it is good practice to specify which table you are specifying so you are making constraint with so this foreign key is constraint to users table there is this is clear by looking at that and now we need to drop that as well so table drop you can do so use used to do like drop column honor id honor id you can do like this but it won't work because we have foreign key constant as well so without removing foreign key constant you cannot uh, remove the column so we need to remove the foreign key constant for that we have drop foreign and then in drop foreign we have to specify something like this vendors name of table so this is the convention you have to look at uh, to documentation so here in this foreign key constant we used to do something like this unsigned big integer and then in second line we used to do foreign key constant but in Laravel yet it is just one liner like this foreign id and then name of user we specify that all right that is is already done but dropping foreign key you can drop like this drop foreign and then name of the key so laravel will automatically create a key so the format will be something like this foreign key constant name is based on name of table name of table in which you added foreign key in our case vendors and the columns in constant honor id and followed by foreign suffix like this so this will be the case of the alternatively if you are just following Laravel naming convention you don't need to specify like this you can just do drop foreign and user ID Laravel will automatically know but in our case we haven't followed the convention I want to call that honor ID so in that case I have to use something like this so let's copy this into here and I have like vendors table and then name is honor id honor id foreign so this is the convention so first we need to remove the foreign key and then column itself so if you put this step uh, after this it won't work just okay so whenever we run migrate it will create a column and foreign key constraint and whenever we run rollback it will drop the foreign and drop the honor id column 
So by the way, I'm using PHP Storm and it has built-in SQL client to deal with database. You can use PHP MyAdmin or whatever uh, database client you are using. So um, just close this and all right. So now we are ready to migrate it, uh, but there is one more step. It won't work just yet because we have the existing data on our table where we are adding this foreign key. So if you have existing data, then you have to be slightly careful. You have two options. One, you can just delete the existing data and then run it. It will work. You don't need to do anything. This code is totally fine. But if you have existing data, then it will uh, throw some error like this. Uh, so it will say cannot create a foreign key constant. Uh, because uh, Laravel doesn't know what to do with this existing data, which owner ID to assign them. So if you specify here which owner ID you want to specify, then it will uh, it won't throw error, something like this. Default, by default I want to give user ID 1 to all existing data, then it will totally work. All right. So if you have no data, you don't need to put this. Just be make Just be sure about that. So now let's do PHP artisan migrate. Yeah, then it will work. Uh, let's refresh. Open up. We have this on ID by default one. Now let's try to remove it. PHP artisan migrate rollback. Yeah, rollback also work fine. If I refresh this, now on ID is gone. So this works totally fine. Just be sure that do this in front of this. So we'll just put it in front and then make sure this default. All right. So you are fine. You can just um, close the video. But if you want to learn what error you'll get if you mess this up and how to solve it, just stay tuned. Uh, so how to how to do if you mess something like if you didn't include this and um, if error comes in between running some migration then what to do so in that case what you can do is first let's make uh, just roll back and just make it like before so yeah so everything is like before we have rolled back now i have removed that default and let's see what error we get all right so now if i try to migrate yeah, so you get the error like this cannot add update and you think how to do this, how to make um, this work. So now what you do is if you do something like this, like previously, like this. And now if I, if you try to migrate, then there is a different error column already exists because in previous migration it already created on id but at creating the constant it failed it failed in second step so uh, it created migration so another uh, thing is if you try to now roll back it won't work either because in migrations table there is no entry of that so there is no entry for this migration on id migration so uh, this library doesn't know that it is already migrated and if you try to roll back then all the table will be gone so don't do that so how to fix that if you mess something like this you get error like column already exists so one option is just uh, php artisan migrate fresh and then seed it uh, that it will be the total refresh uh, that is that will always work migrate fresh it's just a um, good command so if you don't want to lose existing data, what you can do is you have to manually delete this owner ID column. So just go to your SQL client and manually delete this owner ID. So, so there will be, so according to your um, SQL client, you have to first, if you try to delete this, so I'll do drop. It won't drop. Yeah, sometimes it's drop, sometimes it doesn't drop. Just make sure first you delete the foreign key constant if there is already then drop then it will work so in our case it already it dropped successfully then it works if it didn't work what you need to do is just look for these constant and first delete constant and then column like we did in rollback so now i manually deleted it and now if i try to migrate then it will work 
there we go everything works fine now try to roll back roll back also work fine all right so this migrate step is done now if you mess something off in this rollback step what to do so to check the rollback step first let's migrate migration done totally fine we have on our id now if you do something like this you delete this you don't uh, you just want to drop column like this then let's see if it work if it works or not migrate rollback there we go it didn't work cannot drop this all right so nothing affected so you have to put this in front and then now try to roll back it will work there we go now if you refresh that on right is gone all right so hope you learned something out of this video just make sure while adding foreign key just be aware of these facts and just understand the need of your application what you are trying to do according to your needs and your logic these thing will be differ this will this will differ but just keep in mind the basic idea what i did here and what are the things that you need to keep in mind then you can totally then you can just experiment with this uh, just experiment and then you'll learn all right so i will see you in another video bye